Hello everybody, my name is Ash and welcome back to Resident Evil Free Nemesis. Well, it's just called Free, I guess, but uh, hey, subtitle it can be called Nemesis if you want. And this is the, uh, we're playing Carlos, we're in the hospital. Okay, this feels like we need, I'm kind of, I'm kind of at a fork in a road here. Do we go straight down this corridor or down where we, down that bloody area? I don't know, it seems a bit safer. Don't drop down. What the hell? You just drop down without even looking first. What the hell? Can I, can I go back? The fuck? Key. Key for what? I got here by accident. I'm not going to lie. I... Spencer Memorial Hospital, employee locker room. Okay. Well, that's going to be handy. Assuming it'll be healing items and whatnot in there. Oh, this is that. Yeah, okay. We've got. We've got okay. That's handy. We made our way around. Not sure about an employee locker room, though. I can't remember off the top of my head if we came across a door where we needed, needed a key. It was all card reader related shit. Okay, that's the rooftop. Of which we need to go back to because. Zombie boy. Alright. See, so yeah, I'm not going to drop down again unless. I don't even know if I got everything down there. Simple lock, cart yard, yeah, nothing in the cart yard, right. Lock from the other side, again, no. The fuck? It's another droppy drop. Oh, there's a herb. I suppose that's not nothing. Is there anything from on that side? I don't know, this is kind of weird. I feel like I'm going to be going around in circles just to check out what the hell's on that back corner that I haven't dropped down into yet. There's a corpse down there. I have to go around though to drop down, I think. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's have a look at this bloody area. Memos for administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. So it's recovered. We will keep a spare key here in the office please stop by administration anytime uh. okay, that's handy that's handy turns out we went the right way first which I always like 
I like being rewarded. Okay, a simple rock. Can't can't do that. Nurses Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infective have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it will be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9pm. We heard a helicopter fly over overhead and immediately started crying and hugging and each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant and we are left now one... Now, all we're left now is the morning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariane, Mary Miranda, Dakota. I'm sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help. Sucks to be these. Oh, they're, gonna, they're all going to wake up soon, aren't they? Fucking bastard. <laughs> God damn it. Oh dear. I didn't even know I had why did I have the like I just wanted to shoot him. I didn't even want I didn't even know I had the flash grenades equipped. John Ralph. Oh my god, yes! The fuck's up with its face? What? One hit kill? Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. One hit kill on fucking standard? Yep, yeah, that's what fucking, that's what they did to me. Well, this is the first time you see a hunter in uh, these modern games. I think the last game that they were in properly was uh, Revelations, the first one. I mean, usually I'd expect, like, they one shot, like, in the original, they'd one shot you from caution with, uh, uh, well, they'd one shot you if you were on caution, but, like, really, the jump and slash, like, come on, I don't know they're hunters, but fucking, give me a break. Question is, how many of them fuckers are there? Now we've got an ID card, so we can use that downstairs. Also, I like the, the recreation of the uh, Res Resident Evil 1, like... Oh, they're tracking you down, sort of, uh... Cutscene. Note about tape recording. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. Whoa, Dos Dr. Dr. Boskanovich? <laughs> That's not too bad. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walk towards the treatment room. I tried to sneak in a look, sneak in and look during the night shift. Just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let him let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole. 
and he will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong, a friend. Oh, they're bo both the doors are fucking going at it. The fuck? Oh, they're both. That's where we're supposed to go. Fucking thought I heard that. Okay, that seems like a pointless. Uh... Yeah. Oh fuck! Oh, what the hell? I do a power punch to him if I fucking instead of a dodge. Is that what? More of a parry than a fucking dodge. Jesus. At least hunters are fucking everything up. Except so, maybe they won't notice me. Yeah, I do a shove rather than a dodge. Is that why I'm fucking up as Carlos? Because I'm not supposed to be dodging, I'm supposed to be just counter-attacking. I did a hell of a job explaining that one. Going from the other side now. You can hear the hunters going ape shit though. Every time I have to go in there. Oh, yep, I do. Oh, they can. Oh, they can open doors. Of course they can. Supposed to be sneaky, aren't we? because my gun's pointing him in, in the fucking sky.
until their health resets every time their position does. Fuck me, stop slamming the door in my face. God, annoying little fuckers. They take, they take a lot of damage. And and they can one-shot you. That's just fucked. Not even a boss fight. Audio cassette tape. I'll take that down, down to uh, that door now. These lockers want to open. See him. Tactical grip, assault rifle. That would be that would have been fucking handy. What's it do? Plus some part, greatly reduces recoil, and every shot has more stable trajectory. Okay. Combine. Just trying to figure out how to get up to that part. Whatever. Oh, cool, more zombies. Can't wait for them to break out. Yay, we can discard it. Okay, the operating room, that's, that's, yep. Good place to die as any, I guess. Lost items. I really lost items. I've never heard of that game. <laughs> to all employees, we've been inundated with reports of lost items. If you find something and is it is unclear who it belongs to. Do not take it home. Please deposit it in in the nurses station safe. The company safe combination is nine three. The fuck is that it? Thank you for cooperation. God damn it! I've got to go back upstairs to that bloody. Take the grenades off of me. Keeps grenades in a fucking surgery. What kind of surgery are they performing here? Go back upstairs and do that safe, I guess. I need to go straight forward, don't I? Just to yeah, I need to go straight forward. It's not good.
kill this file. Nine clockwise and three counterclockwise. Oh, dual mags. Custom part allows you two magazines at once for a 64 capacity. That's not how dual magazines work. I thought dual mags were just for like fast reload. Oh well, uh, combine. Yay. Burn. Burn through armor quicker. That's how that works, right? Locks. I've got a couple of simple locks. Hospital map. I can. It's actually in there, out there. That's a, is where I want to go. In that little corner there, but it seems to be blocked off. Maybe it's a uh, something to do later on. I guess maybe. I don't know. There's the hunter. Anyways, head downstairs to that tape. Uh, the audio voice command door, as we as I call it. Another simple lock. Wonderful. Add it, add it with the others. Alright, let's have a gandhi. Use. Or examine, I should say. Alright, I have to use it rather than play it in front of it. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist ever <laughs> to make a bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Huh. That's a bit nasty, but hey, whatever. Oh, don't tell me he offed himself, the fucking idiot. Bard. Actually, no. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? I heard a sound from out there. He probably got killed by... Well, you know, you guys can probably figure it out. Banquet invitation. Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Vacuum City's new special medical zone, SMZ. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998, 6 p.m. The Orange Restaurant, Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you join us. Sicily, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Hmm. Senator? Yeah, shot right in between the eyes. Not not a suicide. Umbrella. Email from Nathaniel Bard. Greg Tester. Subject. Reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. The virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over the Capitol Hill. Like a tidal wave. 
you're not safe however you're not you, you're not safe however you've always been a good friend to me so i'd like to offer you a way out i have in my possession one dose of, the, of a vaccine for the virus the holy grail and it's not for my family not for my ladies on the side no greg i'm saving it for you I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you have to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on a pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, which should sound pretty chast after... The parties we've been to. Hurry, my time's running out, Nate. This is BRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29th, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... She trusted me anyway. Fuck! Oh, it's the fucking door fist activated? That's a bit Is much. Vaccine sample. No! Looks like Jill's gonna have to die, you know. <laughs> Oh, we can just discard that. What the fuck? All right, Joe. Hang tight. Keith, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Well, he's not. He's not wrong. Hunters! Fuck out of here. Less of them I have to fight, the better. Oh, fucking stay the fuck down. Okay, simple walk. You're gonna be okay, Joe. Okay, is that it? Is that it? We done? Gonna try and find a vein, we're just gonna j j jam it into her arm and hope for the best, eh? Come on, this shit better work. Only a day away. 
There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. And with that, I'm going to end the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next